Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. I thought I'd cover two things today. Uh, first off, I want to build a little air manifold for this build. Now this isn't actually the one I'm going to use for this because I find acrylic is not as durable a material for this sort of thing as it, sh as it needs to be. Now it's going to be cool looking and that's the reason why I decided to make it, but uh, for something like this you need something that's going to uh, have some longevity to it because uh, these things will wear and if you keep trying to uh, wiggle hoses in and out of this sort of thing and adjust stuff, uh, they're just going to snap off. It's, it's too brittle for this kind of thing. But, like I said, it's a nice looking little thing, and I'm going to just put it together here for you. And then, like I said, for the actual build or the giveaway, I'm going to do something completely different. Uh, something that's a lot more durable. So what I've done here so far is I've just taken a one inch piece of uh, acrylic, I've drilled five holes in it, Actually, only I think I'm going to need is three for this, but I thought I'd drill uh, one extra one. Uh, so there'll be the two inputs, like for a dual pump, because I think this uh, system is going to require a dual pump, and then the, the four for the actual uh, project. So once that's done, uh, I've put one end cap on. I can't do both of them until the rest of this is done, because they have to be done individually, because they won't fit in the lathe. That's actually another thing about using either uh, PVC or Delrin. You can actually just buy the parts and then just stick them all together. And it is actually much more uh, suitable for this sort of thing. So all I've done is I've bent them over, uh, and then I've turned it to 90 degrees, and then I'm going to bend them again. I can't really show you uh, the process because uh, it's hard to hold the camera, <laughs> the heat gun, and everything all at once and the, uh, my other uh, camera just wasn't up to it in this sort of uh, filming, so there you go. It's just a nice little U. I don't really like doing this kind of bending, um, but in the end you end up with something that looks kind of nice. Uh, I haven't quite finished this yet, but as I said, because this is not going to actually be uh, part of the giveaway or anything, I just wanted to show you a simple way of uh, making a manifold. Now just imagine this all in uh, PVC, or actually uh, for the build I think I'll probably use black Delrin because I think it'll look kind of nice as well. But this clear version, uh, it looks nice. I mean obviously it won't stay clear because uh, when you pump air through it and a little bit of wa air, water leakage. Uh, so this is the one I made uh, about 15 years ago for my air driven system for the fish room. And it has stand the test of time. It's, works perfectly fine and will keep on working and that's what you need for this sort of thing. So this is going to be the two pieces. These are the two ends uh, or the two sides depending on how you want to look at it. This is going to be the next lift. So water is going to be pumped into the first chamber and then pumped up into the second one. And the neat thing I like about this particular uh, way of doing this, uh, first off I decided to extend the length of this by an eighth of an inch. So it is actually going to sit on top of the side for uh, the first stage. And the thing that that's going to do is it's going to give a little extra stability to this. And that's actually something, this is the, <laughs> the question for the week. Uh, there, if you remember from the first video for this, I left a large piece of one side, the side that's going to be against the tank, intact. And you'll know, see how this one's built. It is just an L shape. And I don't think that extra piece is really necessary. So let me know in the comments below if you think I should cut that off. Because right now I'm leaning towards cutting it off because I think uh, material is going to get between uh, the sides of this and the, the walls of the tank. And if nothing else, just algae will grow in there. And I think it's going to be a little bit unsightly in time. Initially, during the first setup, it's going to be fine, of course. But every time I build something, because, I mean, I do maintenance for a living, so I try to think of these things. How is it going to do uh, six months from now, a year from now? Uh, is it going to still be something that's easy to maintain? And I don't think so. So just let me know what you think, and uh, I will <laughs> go with it because that is, uh, like I said, this is going to be one of yours, so that's what really matters in the end. 
Now something happened here. This actually does happen uh, once in a while. I uh, glued the wrong side on. Uh, it is the wrong face, so it was just a little short. Now what I could do is recut the two pieces, but because this is resting on top of the other uh, piece of plastic, uh, the extra little bit of roughness that's going to be there will actually sit on top of the first stage. So it won't be seen, and it also may uh, supply a little bit of traction. So instead of redoing it, if you catch it soon enough, like I did here, you can actually just uh, pry them apart and then re-glue it. And that's uh, what I'm going to do here. And like I said, it's, it's not uh, a critical mistake. But these things happen. I mean, they crop up. So I was going to re-glue this now and put it in the place where it should be. And in the end, I'll show you the little bit of roughness that's there. Uh, but it's not something that you can even see, really, uh, in the camera. And definitely when it's actually sitting in place where it needs to go, uh, you won't notice it at all. So there you go. This is going to be uh, that hole. There is where uh, the second, the first stage, uh, where the second pipe is going to come out of that. It's going to fill up here, and this is kind of going to be like uh, you've seen lots of people. They've done uh, what they call uh, bridges between two tanks. This is going to sort of look like that. Uh, there you go. That's a bit of roughness there, but it's right on the seam, and that's going to sit right on top of the first stage. So like I say, you won't even see it. So my vision for this is the water is going to bubble up, fill up this chamber, and you're going to see it face on. So it's going to be like a, a tank on top of a tank kind of thing. And it's going to look quite interesting, I think. And you'll notice in this one here, I've drilled three holes. Uh, that is something I've actually forgot to do on uh, the first stage. Uh, these are going to need overflows and uh, ways that if the water isn't perfectly balanced and flowing between levels that it can go back into the tank. So I am going to <laughs> have to drill holes in the first stage, uh, these three same holes just so they all match up after it's built. And that is actually really quite annoying. <laughs> it's one of those things that needs to be done because I want it all to look the same, and of course, it, the water does need somewhere to go. The other thing I found about doing this is, so far all the stages I've made for this kind of build uh, have been fairly shallow, but this is actually 10 inches from one end to the other, and my hand doesn't really fit in very well, as you can see. But in the end, it all managed to glue together fine. So this is going to stand up like this, and like I said, it's going to rest on top of that other stage. So it's going to look really kind of cool. So what I need to do here now is line up the holes. Uh, this is actually where a uh, milling machine really comes in handy because I can just uh, set it all. And then I'm not going to use this drill bit initially. I'm going to go with a much smaller one. And because I was trying to film this and I didn't have anyone to hold the camera, I decided to do it. Uh, I've clamped everything in place, but this is 1 8 inch. It's very flexible. You'll notice it's moving a fair amount and also just as the drill bit goes through it grips a bit and it jumps and uh, I don't want to rebuild this whole thing I mean that's what would happen if this had cracked see it jump there that's uh, that's bad I mean so what I'm gonna do here is I cut a piece of plywood uh, three-quarter inch here it's wedged in there nice and tight and then I'm gonna drill the rest of the holes but what I'm gonna also do is I got my wife to come down She's holding the camera now, and I'm going to uh, drill these out with uh, her doing the filming and me literally holding everything as tight as possible as I can. Uh, the holes aren't, there's not really that much pressure involved, but like I said, this is 1 8 inch acrylic, and if it uh, cracks, <laughs> it's an awful lot of extra work for me, so I wanted to make sure it worked fine. And it turned out okay. I mean, this is. Uh, it, it drilled nicely and it ended up looking good and the holes match up so that's <laughs> that was a relief trust me so if you like this style of video please like and or subscribe uh, I would be much appreciated of that and thank you very much for all of your input on uh, last week's video uh, it really is uh, a benefit I uh, like to see what you guys want to say what you have to for bu future builds and for this build and the general consensus is 
uh, to go with three stages. So that's what it's going to be. So these three holes uh, match up with the first three holes. Like I said, that's the nice thing about a milling machine. Uh, if you make a mistake, you can go back and uh, redo things. It just takes a little extra effort is all. So what I'm going to do now is, here you go, it's uh, sitting where it belongs. Uh, I haven't taken the film off yet because there's a bit more work I need to do with this. But that's going to be, as uh, far as I can see, uh, a tank over the tank. And it is going to be interesting. And uh, there's going to be one more lift, and it's going to go towards, uh, so this is going to be like a U shape with a bit of a ramp to it. And that's just going to be kind of cool. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.